Barbadian food is very good. This is about the simplicity of utilizing the food that you have to create um, fantastic things. The, the seasoning is made with like chives and a little bell pepper and garlic and they pour it in the fish and in the chicken and pork when they bake pork and so it's, it's you know, when you come down here you'll get to taste a lot of that. Our national dish for instance is cocoon flying fish. I love flying fish. You can bake it, you can fry it. Bread crumb it, fry it up, easy. The only item that I consent that you should fry would be the flying fish. Personally I like fried on, on a cutter. What do you call a flying fish cutter? A cutter is, is traditionally what we would do with uh, a salt bread. A Barbadian salt bread normally is, I mean, it's like, it looks like a bun. And so you can have a cheese cutter, a ham cutter, a ham and cheese cutter, a fish cutter. Whatever you want to put in there, that's your cutter. Koku is um, cornmeal, uh, well, pretty much cornmeal is stirred with, with okra. You can get bright fruit cuckoo. You can get banana cuckoo. My grandmother used to stir a mean cuckoo. My mom has taken that on and my mom still has a good arm so I've not felt compelled to learn yet. English potato cuckoo? You can get sweet potato cuckoo? You cannot have a Sunday meal in a Bajan house without peas and rice. Let me tell you something, a rice and peas, you know, rice and peas, man. That's the number one. My favorite dish is like macaroni pie, rice and chicken. <laughs> Pickle salt fish, frizzle salt fish, and white rice. You go down there at Oystins by Alexis and I have pudding sauce and, and salt fish and rice. What we do is add our own technique to it, our own way of flavoring food, our own way of cooking it to make it uniquely Barbadian.